morning, evening, or even afternoon, wherever you are in the world, Pisces. Hope that you're well. I miss you all. I read all of your comments. Thank you. I haven't had a chance to um, respond. Just still going through my tower moment, but trying to uh, make the time to be here to give you guys your readings. And as such, let's get your cards out for you. Hope that you all had a nice weekend, that you're safe, healthy, wherever you are. Let's see what we got. Okay. First card out the gate. I need more room here. That's what I need. <laughs> Sorry, Pisces. I haven't had enough coffee yet this morning. It's ridiculously early where I am. Oh, excuse me. Okay. So the first card out the gate um, is the Queen of Swords. But I also want to get a clarification just so that... I feel like somebody has to make a tough decision, okay? So what I'm seeing from these two cards is somebody definitely has to make a tough decision and it's something in terms of restoring balance. It could be regarding health. It could be having to stop overindulging. Um, but the Queen of Swords also is somebody who's very pessimistic and malicious, manipulative, harsh, bitter, spiteful, maybe even cruel or deceitful or unforgiving. Okay. And that could be making it hard for you in this moment. If you're dealing with someone like this, it could be an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Maybe you're thinking too much with your heart and becoming too emotionally involved in a current situation. And it's possible that you need to temper your emotions as well if there's a decision that needs to be made uh there's something about thinking more objectively because emotions could lead you astray it's asking that you take the time to really look at a situation that you're dealing with and using the various facts and use your head to create a clearer picture of what's really going on and then you can make the next step so yeah definitely some temperance is required here, all right? But again, um, this could also speak to the fact that you're dealing with somebody who's pushing you to that state. It might be very hard to find balance in dealing with this individual, okay? So if that be the case, makes sense. What is crossing the situation? You have the Ace of Pentacles. So let's get a clarification for that. Yeah, again, so I, I have this decision feeling here with that Two of Wands in reverse. It's something to do with a new beginning. Something to do with a... A materializing new beginning uh, something that is a new opportunity or a resource or something for abundance or prosperity or security something for stability or manifestation so again this is something that you're trying to get manifested I feel right uh, it's indicative of a new beginning so Perhaps you're at a point in your life where you're trying to begin again and maybe somebody's holding you back with their pessimism. Um, although maybe it's your, your own negative self-talk because of your emotions. You could be being very, very harsh on yourself and feeling like you can't succeed in a new beginning. And maybe you feel like, okay, I don't have the strength. I don't have... Um, the ability to deal with whatever's going on. 
and maybe you feel like you can't make a decision because there's something here about overanalyzing and not taking action. Someone's avoiding risk. If it's you or someone around you, they're playing it safe. Playing it safe from taking action here. And I feel like it's because of negative self-talk. Okay. The foundation of this is the hanged man in reverse. Perhaps, Pisces, you have been through tough experiences before and you're afraid of getting yourself into another repetitive cycle. It's like you don't want to jump from one bad situation into another. So you could be being very, very careful at this point in time. You could be afraid, and especially because you have temperance here, it, it could be that there's a long-standing, yeah, see? There's some kind of long-term or long-ending goal here. And I feel like whatever decision is made, it's going to have a far-reaching effect, kind of like the ripple effect. So it's like you're trying to be a leader, but you're doing so by being cautious, right? It's like you're taking the experience that you've learned and you're applying it to the outer world and outer situations. The thing with that hanged man in reverse is that you could be stalling as well to make that decision. You're really trying to stall. You're just at a standstill, I feel. Hence that sitting on the throne. I feel like... To take that leadership, you're just afraid of getting also a slap on the wrist, maybe. You can see the big picture. You know you've got to make daring decisions. And you know you have to be optimistic, but I feel like as much as you know you have to, you're still very afraid. You're very afraid of really taking the step. What is the recent past, please, spirit? Recent past for Pisces for this decision or this situation? I'm getting two cards. I just need one, please, Spirit. Recent past for Pisces. Yeah, look at that. I feel like, again, you're being made to make a decision that you don't want to make. It's a harsh one. It's one that's very tough. Uh, look at that hangman reverse again. And this is basically repeating. Like, the recent past is a situation has arisen and I feel like it's external to you it's something in which you have to take the lead you've got to make the decision but yet you're not you're not wanting to do it because you just of the far-reaching effects it's like dropping that pebble into that pond of water and it's going to ripple out and affect so many people so there, there was this indecision and a hesitancy, maybe even an anxiety. Maybe, maybe there is no right choice. You see what I mean? It could be one of those decisions that you have to make that... And that's why you're stuck here. That's why you're stuck. And, and you don't want to jump into it because you know that whatever decision you make, it, it's not going to have a best outcome. But you know what? That's not your fault, Pisces. Sometimes the hesitancy and the anxiety is because you're just trying to put off something that is inevitable. Wow. So you're just trying to put it off, but it is inevitable. And at the end of the day, this is not your fault. The, life is full of hard choices. And sometimes those choices they don't give you yeah see you're you're the one who has the control right now you're the one as to who the somebody's depending on you to make this decision it's a hard one 
and you just ah oh, Pisces you feel afraid you feel nervous you know that this is about a new beginning I'm getting this feeling like a child being put into an adult position right it's like the focus is like you can see how this individual is so afraid to step forward what happens if I do this what happens if I do that but at the end of the day there is no right decision it's a decision just simply needing to be made and because you're in that position of power you're the one who's got to take action so I feel like your focus is, is trying to make the the best choice and I feel like you're doing it in a very fair way you're really looking at all of the facts see your energy at the moment yeah and I feel that because your mind that makes perfect sense because your mind is spinning so much with anxiety and because you're you're weighing out the pros and cons and you're flipping back and forth and you're like what if I make the wrong choice and it's gonna affect someone negatively what if I hurt somebody you are putting so much no wonder you're so hesitant you, you are putting so much weight on your shoulders here you're carrying the weight of the world you really are you're just so afraid that others are going to be affected but you know what or affected negatively if you will and it's to the point where you can't even hear your own higher power speaking to you you can't even hear your own inner guidance you can't feel secure you're not trusting yourself you're really not trusting yourself in this situation maybe you're afraid that people will think if you make a decision of some sort that you have hidden motives or that you're confused or that you uh, didn't listen to all of the facts and it's like you just don't want an argument you're doing the best that you can i feel like you're definitely struggling to listen to your intuition at this time and spirit is asking you know take some time to meditate to try a new approach because at this moment the rational approach will not work something has been telling you to follow your gut but I feel like you're ignoring it because you're afraid of backlash. You're afraid of how things are, are, are going to play out or what somebody's going to say or do or how they're going to judge you. You could be afraid of harsh judgment from somebody else. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Because I told you, you've got the power here in this situation and you're trying to avoid the toxicity something needs to be released you know that it needs to be released because it's toxic and it's it's not it's not a good situation somebody might be trapped and you've got the power to release them in some way or a situation in which you can help something be released that needs to be released but yet you can't do it because you're afraid you're you're really afraid of, of the backlash look at that see the energy around you that's why that makes perfect sense you could have another cancer pisces scorpio around you and this person could be moody this person could be um throwing tantrums they might be avoiding conflict they might be um causing issues in terms of whatever their problems are like it, it basically um they allow their emotions to run their life so that could be what this is about at the center of the read maybe it's not you who's um allowing your emotions to get the best of you but it's somebody else 
and their emotions are controlling it more than it should and this person could be overly jealous emotional or moody to the point where it could end up getting to the point of actual incapacity to take action which is most definitely to be avoided maybe someone's jumping to conclusions too fast or maybe somebody sees you that you're struggling with this at this point let's get the uh, clarification yeah they could be seeing you as you know you're struggling at this point in time yeah because it's so final it's such whatever this is it's going to change lives in some way shape or form whether this be ending a relationship right whether this be choosing to walk away from something and they can see that you're you're prolonging an ending of some sort but it's an ending that you know needs to happen and I think it's all down to the emotional cost right it, it, it's a lot so I think spirit is asking you to take some time and find some balance for you there's something that is marking the end of a journey or an era and even even though it's ending and there's so many accomplishments there's kind of like this emptiness that fills you when you look backwards upon it and it's like you have all of the pieces but they're not coming together so it's asking you know like what is missing what alienates you from feeling complete or whole you're maybe that's what it is maybe you're afraid to release somebody here and somebody knows this or a situation because you're afraid that you won't feel whole anymore if you have to make that decision see what i mean because it's going to be about releasing something and that's what the hope or the fear is is being left out in the cold Somebody doesn't want to be left out in the cold. Somebody doesn't want to cause anyone else loss or pain here. But, right, they, they, they're trying to be loving and nurturing. And I feel like that's you, Pisces. But in your loving and nurturing, life is loss, unfortunately. Everything is impermanent. And just poor you guys because you're in this position where you're damned if you do and you're damned if you don't I know that your hope is for positive changes and recovering from loss or overcoming adversity that that is the hope and I feel like you're doing it from a position of love and maybe that's just what you need to know Maybe that's the piece that's going to help you is to realize that you're doing it from a loving, nurturing place. Brightness is going to come back. The light here in the glass window is the light at the end of the tunnel. So this could have even been going on for a while. It does, it does say that state that the worst is over the changes won't uh, happen overnight yes it's going to take time to recover from whatever is happening here whatever decisions need to be made maybe the decision wasn't even yours it was somebody else's but it's impacting you but the thing is is that you're going to be able to regain stability and it'll be slow recovery from say illness if 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 it was a decision regarding illness in some way shape or form or if you're caring for someone help is going to become available made available to you because I also get this feeling like you're being loving and nurturing and you're looking after something or someone but there's this this tough decision you're very generous you're very caring and nurturing or maybe this is somebody who's going to come along and help you through this situation and help you to make this decision that you need to make because they can see that you're struggling. 
And this is a big decision. This is something big. Okay. So let's see what the outcome is going to be for Pisces, please. What is the outcome for Pisces? Three of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're going to get to a point where you do feel secure enough to make a decision without taking on. You're, you're going to accept it. That's what this is. The moon is stating that even though you can't see the forest for the trees at this point in our time, you know that this is a decision that you have to make without the input or without having to worry about the judgment of others. And even if somebody is upset or does not like what you are going to choose, you have to do it on your own. You can't, I mean, it's okay to take the input of others, but the decision is yours. And yes, this is un this is unknown for you. This is unknown territory. This is not somewhere that you've ever been before where you've had to make such a decision or have this power, but you've got to do it and you're going to do it. Okay. You're definitely going to do it and you're going to be okay. You will. So let's get you, um, I'm feeling like because of, uh, context of this let's get you some advice again stop beating up on yourself I know you're afraid to take a leap and it doesn't even I guess have to be serious not for everybody but for some of you it's a big deal right there it is see again this is something to do with someone else and they're struggling either financially or they're struggling in their health or they're struggling um, in some way, shape, or form. And basically surrender the idea that you can fix someone. It's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Or in this case, even if you have the power to make a decision, you can't change somebody. So even if you know that it's your call, you simply can't change somebody. So the only thing that you can fix is you and the situation so that it's beneficial for you. So how do you do that? Is unfortunately by making a decision that you don't want to make. But you will heal. That's what Spirit is telling you, is that no matter no matter what happens, no matter how hard this is, you're going to heal from it. You will be able to move forward. And yes, it'll take some time, but there's a reason for it. Okay. And if, if this is about getting you back into balance and getting life back into balance, then that's what has to be. And also we have to realize too that we don't have that control over everything, right? We may be able to make a decision, but we really ultimately don't have the control of how it's going to affect everybody. We, we can't, we can tread as carefully as we want to. We can step as lightly as we want to, but the effects are the effects and everything happens for a reason. And there's something bigger at play always. The universe is in charge here, okay? So sending you so much love and I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. See you again soon, Pisces. Bye.